Hello guys, so as requested, um, I will remake my bikini, bikini top, which is I'm going to use this very soft, I think this one, I don't have a label for this one, but I think this is acrylic and nylon. So I'm going to use, because it's a little bit bigger, uh, size yarn so i'm going to use my four millimeter hook and um this yarn here so you just have to be mindful creating or using your using your yarn and just use the recommended um, size hook for your yarn okay so this one is as as my i mentioned um this one is a little bit bigger size and because it is acrylic and nylon so it's a little bit uh very soft and like fluffy and um yeah so i want to try this and the color i, I really like it as well so if you're just like using it but if you are using different yarn, so please use the recommended uh, hook size and you just have to adjust your stitches. Okay, so with myself, okay, so for this tutorial purposes, I'm going to start with my slip knot and I finished that already and I insert my hook and now I'm going to chain 15 two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so this one okay so i'm making a size medium okay um with a little bit bigger um hook that i'm using and it's just um i think it fits with my yarn as well Okay, so from here, so if you're going to, if you're using different size, okay, just make sure that you do your uh, foundation chain, which is uh, the bottom of your chest going to the nipple. Okay, so this is how you uh, measure, okay, so your foundation chain. So if you're uh, using a smaller size hook okay you you may wanted it to chain a little bit longer next step is we're going to block this off and we're going to chain three and so one two three so we're going to double crochet into the chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our chain and do our double crochet insert three loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and continue one double crochet in each chain until you reach the last chain once you reach the last stitch of your chain now in this chain here in this chain we are going to place two double crochet that's one two in the same space and then chain one and go back into the same space with two more double crochet that is our turning chain on the top okay so we have two double crochet chain one two double crochet in the same space and after that we're going working in this side 
and placing one double crochet in each chain just make sure that you have matching counts of stitches from the other side okay so continue doing that and i will um come back and meet you back here just make sure that you have your double crochet here much in the other side okay so we have one more stitch here just going to place one double crochet there and chain two okay so this time i'm going to chain two because chain three is too much and it it leaves a gap okay and then after that chain two into the next stitch double crochet and do go double crochet until to the last stitch before you reach the chain one space and i will meet you back So once you reach your last stitch, now we're going to work into this chain one space, placing two double crochet, chain one, and go back into the same space with two more double crochet. After that, we're going to double crochet into the first stitch into the other side and placing one double crochet in each chain until you reach the end of the row. So once you reach the end of your row, So you look, your work will look like this. We chain two and turn our work. And in this row, we're going to double crochet in the next eight stitches. Okay, including the chain two that we did to turn our, or to start our row so one two three four going to add four more five six seven and eight okay so just make sure one two three four five six seven eight and from here we're going to chain fourteen two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Now we are going to work into our chain one space. Okay, we wrap, we are going to work not a double crochet but a triple crochet. So, triple crochet is wrap twice and insert into the chain one space and pull through. And you have four loops on your hook. Yarn will pull through two, and yarn will pull through two, and yarn will pull through two. So we're going to pull through two three times. So now, as you can see, we have this beautiful starting chain. And from that, we're going to chain two and wrap twice and go back into the same space and do a triple crochet. Chain 14. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, and now we're going to count from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight into the eighth chain. Okay, we're going to do our double crochet. Just make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that your 
uh, working into the right spot and then placing one double crochet in each chain to complete your eight double crochet and then the last stitch and this is how it looks like now this is a repeat chain two and into the next double crochet and we're only going to do seven double crochet we're not going to double crochet into the last stitch okay and so we stop before the last one so we have one two three four five six seven and here we're going to chain 16 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay so in the previous row we chain 14 and then now here we chain 16. after chaining 16 we're going to wrap twice and we're going to work into this chain two space okay insert and do your triple crochet chain two and wrap twice and work in the same space with your triple crochet okay now this is how it looks like after that <coughs> you're going to chain 16 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16. And working into this side, we skip one chain and do our double crochet. And we complete seven double crochet. This is the last one and this is how it looks like okay so this is how it looks like at the moment so now we just have to continue and you have to complete how many rows you like okay and then this row here is we only have to do six double crochet And you skip the last st stitch okay so we have one two three four five six and we're going to chain 18 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and now we're going to go on the top and do our double crochet uh triple crochet sorry our triple crochet so wrap twice and insert into this two chain space and do your triple crochet chain two and wrap twice go back into the same space and do your triple crochet and now we have this as <clears throat> now after that we chain 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 And the same thing okay we're going to 
go here we skip one chain and complete our six double crochet and we have this as you can see okay so with this one here guys it is very you know you, you can customize it okay so here in the middle here you can do three rows or four rows it depends on your style okay so um, you can do that and then start on the next row so for example the third row you want coverage and then you do that um, and then you start on your fourth row to have these chains here and then this one is you just have to complete how many rows do you need for your coverage okay um you can do less you can do more and then you just have to continue just adding uh two in this chain here you're adding two in every rows and here as well because we only have six there and then you can only do uh one two three four five more rows as big as you can okay so if you have a bigger size or if you have um more chains here and then you can do bigger than that and here as well it depends if you want it longer that's how you customize it okay so you just have to continue that and finish how many rows do you need okay and then i'm going to show you what to do next okay so for this tutorial i'm going to do one more rows and to complete this bracket so at the moment is i have one two three so i will do four one more one more rows and then we will continue into uh, the next part of it okay so chain two turn your work and then into the next double crochet and complete your double crochet and this row is we have five double crochet and then after that we're going to as we have 14 16 18 we are going to chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and then we go to the top and we're going to wrap twice and we're going to work into the chain two space with our triple crochet chain two and wrap twice and go back into that space and complete our triple crochet chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and you go into the other side and we're going to complete we skip one chain and we're going to complete our five double crochet to complete this row as i mentioned before if you want more than that and then you can go ahead and complete that but i think there is enough for this medium size uh bikini or tutorial that i'm making so it is hard because when you put it on and it will look like this 
So when you put into here, it doesn't look or it doesn't give you the um, it doesn't give you the beauty that you want to see. So you can like do that and you can see this is how it looks like okay so if you're doing you know your size you complete that and i will meet you back for the next step okay so as you can see here here is our first cup and now we are going to repeat the process and create our other cup okay so i will do that off camera and then i'll come back and we will complete our project okay and connect them together okay everyone so now that we do have our two cups okay so now we're going to work on the body which is we're going to start from here as our yarn is still attached and we insert then we're going to chain one and into this double crochet space we're going to do two single crochet and into this space here as we have chain so i'm going to insert and do one single crochet and into this space for the double crochet placing one uh, two single crochet and into this in between the double crochet one and then into the double crochet row to single crochet and we're just going to repeat that until we reach the end so here we're going to place one and into the chain space two and in between one and two the in-between space is a little bit harder to sometimes it's tight into the space here one and just continue And placing that two single crochet and then one single crochet and then two and then one until we have a balance and then two and then here is one and then two And one and two and one and now we are into our final we have two and as you can see this is how it looks like now here in between because I'm working here, you have to look at the right side and the left side. So this one is the wrong side and facing up. So we have to look, this one is the right side and this is the wrong side because we finish in this side here. So we're grabbing that and replacing that. And now I'm just going to do three single crochet one two three and connect 
into the other side okay so we're just going to go straight and place a single crochet into the double crochet and continue and I'm just waving this tail as well so we don't have to wave it later okay so the single crochet And this part here, one single crochet and two single crochet. And then just continue doing this until we get to the end. And we will be doing one more row of single crochet before we start. <coughs> our pattern so we can have this foundation need to place one here and two double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet <clears throat> and don't forget this space here for one double crochet and into the last is two double crochet uh two single crochet so don't get confused we are working a single crochet row so this complete our first row of single crochet and now we are done now we are going to chain one and chain one turn our work and into the first chain we're just going to place one single crochet in each chain across Okay, and this is how it looks like. So continue doing that. And when, once you are done, I'll come back and let's go and work with our next row. Okay, so I just finished my single crochet row. And moving forward to next row is we chain one and we do a single crochet in this first chain here and we chain two and we skip one skip one and the next one is double crochet chain one skip one the next double crochet chain one skip one next double crochet so we are going to do this until we finish the row 
so this is how it looks like so please continue doing that and i will meet you back when i finish my row okay so we are finished with <clears throat> our row so the next row will be chain one and turn your work and this row is just a single crochet row so we have that nice uh, foundation as well and just every stitch so this chain one space here is we're just going to wrap and place one single crochet and on top of double crochet one single crochet and this chain one space one single crochet and just continue until you finish the row and once you're finished i'll come back so this is how it looks like with our row so we have here two rows and then now we have just one row just to give that um <clears throat> nice finish okay so just continue doing single crochet in every chain across and i'll come back shortly and meet you back up okay everyone so i am done with my single crochet row and then now i place my stitch marker so one here in the middle as we have three here so one each and we have one in the middle so that's very easy and on this side or both sides i counted 15 14 stitches and into the 15 stitch i place my stitch marker and the same here as well okay so now <clears throat> we're going to chain two or you can do chain one and then turn your work and placing one single crochet plus one chain okay so it equals the same and from here we're going to do a double crochet in each of 15 stitches so we need to have 15 double crochet here And we have two more. Okay, so if we're going to count that, okay, so we have our single crochet and chain one is count as double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And now we're going to work on this 15 stitch where our stitch marker. And we're going to place our last double crochet and <clears throat> from here is we're going to chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 19 20 21 okay so i do have 21 stitches left here so i will going to chain that and into this stitch marker so we're going to take it off and we're going to do a double crochet in that chain and chain one and 
double crochet in the same stitch so we have a V as you can see so this is how it looks like now we're going to chain 21 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and 21 and into this stitch marker we're taking it off and we're going to place a double crochet into that make sure that you have 15 double crochet to finish your row so now this is how it looks like now we're just going to continue placing one double crochet and make sure that you have 15 double crochet here to match the other side Okay, so please count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and then here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we have a matching job and from here we are going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to do a single crochet and chain one so we have that foundation there and we're going to do uh, 12 double crochet So as we have 15 in the previous row, so we're going to leave three double crochet. Okay, so we have one, two, three. So if we're going to count this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve because in the first one is we have 15 and this one we have 12 and after that <clears throat> we're going to chain 23 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. Okay, so let me give that a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And after that, we're going to do our double crochet into this V stitch. And chain one and double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And uh, chaining 30, 23. 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And so this is how it looks like. Now we're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, we're going to do our double crochet and double crochet in each stitch until you get to the end. So once you completed chain one and turn your work and as I always do I do a single crochet here and a chain one and placing double crochet in each stitch until you have three loop three stitches left so you have to double crochet until you have three one two three so you are going to double crochet until here and leave three stitches so placing one double crochet in each stitch And this is our last one and we have one two three and then from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so then eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five okay once we have our twenty five we're going to insert into this middle or the chain one space and chain one and double crochet so this is how it looks like after that you're going to chain 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25. So once you finish that, okay, you skip one, two, three, and into the fourth. So skip one, two, three, into the fourth. You are going to complete your double crochet and double crochet in each chain until you get to the end. and we will be doing one more rows okay as our cup has four separate okay so we have one two three four so we need to have one two three and four into the bottom as well to just to match up okay so we are going to complete this Okay, so this is our last so this is how it looks like okay so once you've done that we're going to chain one and turn our work and single crochet into the first chain and chain one and the same as the previous row we're going to double crochet until we have three stitches left so we have one two three there and this one we have one two three four five six 
in the previous one we have one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then here we have six and after that we're going to chain 27 two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one Two, three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and six, twenty-seven. Once you have your twenty-seven chain into the middle, okay, the chain one space, we're going to complete our V stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And then twenty-seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 22 23 24 25 26 27 so once you completed that we're going to skip three one two three and into the fourth and we're going to complete our six double crochet to match the other side so that's three four five and six okay so this is how it looks like now so this will finish our row and I'm just going to cut my yarn and this is how it looks like okay now we are going to create our strap which is just going to grab the yarn okay so what I'm going to do with this is just one strap and then long strap or long string and then I just want to use that to connect to the back okay so we're going to grab our yarn and make a slip knot and then insert it into this middle stitch chain one and we're going to do in the same space i'm going to do a half double crochet and from here I'm going to do chain two and do a half double crochet chain two and half double crochet chain two and half double crochet okay so this is just how it looks like chain two and just insert there and do a half double crochet chain two and half double crochet chain two and insert and do a half double crochet chain two so at the moment we have that for the strap 
and I'm going to do one to complete one two three four five six seven eight I'm going to do 15 of this half double crochet chain two half double crochet and then after that we're just going to do a chain and we're going to finish it off Okay, so we need to complete 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we need another one. And 15. Okay, so this is how it looks like now after that we're going to chain okay the we have to chain long enough okay to have that around and then we're going to crisscross at the back to connect this in this side and this part we connect into the other side okay so i'm going to chain this okay so just simple chain And I'll come back and show you guys how much I did chain. Okay, everyone. So I do have my 150. Okay, so if you need more, you can continue and do that. Um, for now, I'm going to trim that off. And I will be doing the same thing in the other side. And once I'm done that, and then we can wave our ends and we are done with our project. So insert and yarn over and do a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Chain two, half double crochet. Chain two, half double crochet. Chain two, and half double crochet. Okay, and you're going to do this for 15 times. Okay, so just chain two and half double crochet chain two and half double crochet and half double crochet And you will be doing the same thing. Okay, so with this one here, with this one is showing this way. So with this one, we need to go to the other side. So we can have the side facing out okay so let me do that just 
que... Okay, so now if we turn this way, we have this facing out. Okay, so this one is facing out, this one is facing out, and this one is flat. Okay, so I'm going to continue this, guys, and I'll meet you back when I finish my project okay guys so as you can see we are done with our cup so now what we're going to do is we grab this side here and crisscross into the other side and this side is going here and now what we're going to do is insert into this side here and the same as the other side as you can see we have this for our strap okay so this is our strap so this is how it looks like and then now we have this so now we're going to crisscross again and do one more time into the last section and the same as this side and after that we can tie it up into the middle and we are done just like that okay so this is how it looks like so if we're going to do this this is how it looks like in the front so it's a crisscross at the back so now after that you're just going to wave this end here so it's up to you if you're going down or you're going up but you just go and hide this tail and then you can go one more And you can go back down. So that is how it looks like. And you do the same onto the other side. Okay, you can go down as well.
just like that okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try this onto our mannequin and i'm going to show you and we are done with our project okay so thank you very much guys and hopefully you like this video and if you do please um smash that like button it will help my um channel grow and of course it will help for youtube to um um play my video and i will appreciate your help and of course if you're new to my channel please do hit that subscribe button and notification bell and you will get notified every time i will post a new video okay so thank you very much guys and i will see you in a bit and this is our project for today and it looks very awesome okay everyone so this is how it looks like on the mannequin and you can see that is really really cute i really like the look of it so it's very very sexy okay so hopefully guys you like this video guys please do hit that um smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so now and please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i will post a new video okay so thank you very much guys and have a great day everyone and hopefully i will going to see you in the next video bye